Hello, great terms. It's Mr. Tletcher again. Look, uh, we are still looking at financial mathematics. And now, basically, uh, the paper that we are examining now, uh, we are looking at our November uh, 2017. I think this is November 27 question, 2017 question paper. Let's see in terms of what it got for us. Look, now, uh, 4.1, they say now seven years ago, uh, Mrs. Gray decided to invest 18000 in a bank account that paid an interest of 4.5% uh, per annum. They say calculate now uh, how much interest Mrs. Gray has earned over what? Uh, over the seven years or over the period of seven years. Look now, already they've given us that this is simple interest. Isn't it so? We are given the money which mrs gray invested and we are also given the interest which are uh, the money and so uh the easier thing that you are going to do we are going to start by writing the formula of ours which is one into p plus i i think this is multiplied by n right multiplied by n and now after that now the principal amount in there it is going to be the eighteen thousand going to be the 18,000 into 1 plus the interest there the interest that is given it is 0 0.045 uh, remember interest it's always remember it's 4.5 divided by 100 that's why we are having 0 0.05 uh, <clears throat> and multiply by what multiply by 7 when you plug this in your calculator uh, now uh, that is going to be what this is going to be your 20 uh this is going to be a 23000 uh 670 right 678 but now they say how much interest mrs gray has earned look they are not saying uh how much is the total amount and this uh 23000 is the total amount so basically now when we are looking for the interest we are going to say uh now look for the interest uh, we are going to say this 23,000, uh, this 23,670 subtracts the 18,000, right? And when you are subtracting the 18,000, you realize that in a space of seven years, the interest that was earned, it was 5,670 altogether. So this was the interest, or this is the interest that is earned by Mrs. Gray. Now let's look at uh, 7.2. Now they say Mrs. Gray wants to buy a television are set to cost 27,000. Now, if the average rate of the inflation over the last five years was 6.7% uh, per annum, uh, calculate the cost of the television, uh, the television set uh, after five years, or rather five years ago. Now, let's see in terms of what we can do here. Now, we, we are going to say, now, if, this uh basic television cost twenty seven thousand, and you know that the rate of inflation is six point uh seven percent. Then we can be in a position to calculate in terms of uh the cost of it, uh before right. So we are going to calculate basically here we are going to calculate the print uh the principal amount. So we are going to say now a is then equals to uh p into one plus i to the power of n. Remember every time for inflation we use the compound right we use the compound formula for inflation so please do not forget that this is going to be for inflation now uh then we are going to come back here you are having twenty seven thousand six hundred and sixty, which is equals to pre p now we want to know what is the principal amount one plus what is the interest and the 0.067 now uh this close brackets to the power of five and then you are going to do the same thing so basically you are going to divide by that in both sides so you are going to divide by uh one plus zero point zero six seven to the power of five this side divide by the same thing here one plus zero point zero six seven uh to the power of five then which means your principal amount when you do so these two are going to cancel and the principal amount that you're going to get, it's exactly 20,000, which means the value of it five years ago before the inflation, it was what? It was 20,000 altogether. 
then you get your uh, mark there. Now let's look at 4.1.3. Now in 4.1.3, they say at what rate of simple interest? Already they are telling you in terms of what to use there. You need to use a simple interest. They say should Mrs. Gray have uh, invested her money seven years ago if she intended to buy the television set now using only the original uh, investment of 18000 and the interest and over the last seven years. So now basically what they want us now here to do is they want us to calculate in terms of what will then uh, be the interest. Remember the rate is always interest. They want us to calculate in terms of what is the interest uh, in terms of this value have gained, right? Uh, which means now the money, which is the 27,000 and also the what the 18,000. We want to calculate in terms of which uh, interest was then uh, Mrs. Gray supposed to receive in order for her to be in a position to purchase that 27,000 uh, fridge, right? So now you are going to come here. Let's write this in here. You are going to say, look, because they are saying this is a simple interest, A is equals to P into bracket 1 plus your interest multiplied by your N. Now, remember the value of this. Now, it's 27,660, which is equals to, and now this, the value before it was, uh, what? It was uh, 18,000 into 1 plus the interest there, it was what? This is the rate that you are looking for. And you are going to multiply this by seven and see in terms of what can we do here. So now the first thing that we're going to do is you are going to divide by 18,000. So you're going to divide by 18,000 this side so that these two cancel. And the same thing you're going to do this side, divide by 18,000. And after that, after you've done that, then which means you are going to be left with 27,660 over your 18,000. Uh, this is going to be equals to 1 plus, remember 7 multiplied by i can still be written as 7i, isn't it so? So then now you are going to take this one and uh, transpose it this side. So basically, uh, what is it that you are given here? Now let's try and see. So when you transpose that one there to find your answer, so you are having your 27,660. Uh, then you are dividing it by 18,000. And then after you divide this thing by 18,000, then you subtract your one. So when you subtract your one here, the value that you are finding or the value that you are going to get, that is what uh, it is going to be. Uh, let's write this in fraction, the fraction part, so that we avoid the decimal. It's 161 over 300, uh, which is equals to what? Which is equals to your... Uh, 7i, right, which is close to your 7i. Then obviously you are going to divide by 7 this side, you divide by 7 that side. So which means the interest and the, the value that you are finding, look, you are going to find 0. Point, I think this is 0. 0.07666, right? And now when you then multiply this by 100, you realize that the i that you are having them or the value of your i is going to be given as uh, 7.67 percent altogether. So now this is the value that uh, Mrs. Gray was supposedly supposed to get uh, in order for her to be in a position to purchase that particular television, right? Now, uh, then let's look at our 4.3. 4.3, they're saying now on a certain day, uh, the exchange rate between USA dollars and South African rands is what is. 12 rand 91 cent at the same time the exchange rate of the british pound and the south african rand it's what 16.52 now they want you to calculate the exchange rate in between the british pound and the u.s dollar on the day now look there are many things that you can do here and uh, now the first thing that you can basically do is you are you can simply just say now what is going to be your pound you can take the pound and say you are having your pound vis-a-vis -vis what? Uh, vis-a-vis -vis the US dollar. So you are, going, you are going to say now, this can still be, you know, calculated as pound over the dollar. The pound over the dollar. And what is basically that, which means what was the value of the pound? Remember the value of the, uh, the pound in rand at 16.52. 
and then you are going to divide this by what by uh 12.91 right and you'll realize that now this i think the value uh the the symbol for here uh it's going to be what this one uh, pound is going to be basically represented by uh this which is i think this when you're dividing here you're going to get 1.28 that's okay and then now this is going to be uh the value or their exchange rates that's okay and uh, now thank you very much